Gita. This says a 20 year old male patient has a GFR of 150 ml per minute. Estimated based on his creatinine clearance. Creatinine clearance, you know, can be used for GFR estimation, isn't it? Though the uh, creatinine clearance is slightly higher than the inulin clearance. But what is the gold standard for estimation of GFR? Clearance of inulin. But clearance of creatinine can also be measured for the GFR. So this has given me 150 ml per minute. His plasma glucose is 400 milligrams per deciliter, assuming that his TMG is 30 milligram, three, sorry, 300 milligrams per minute, as shown in the diagram below, right? What is the approximate rate of glucose excretion? Now, if you look at this, if you look at this particular question, um, now we've got, if you look at the graph here, it says this is the filtered load of glucose and in milligram per minute, and this is the uh, this is the rate at which glucose is reabsorbed or excreted. This is also in milligrams per minute. Yes. So you've got filtered load and the rate at which it is reabsorbed or excreted. And you can see two graphs, two lines. One is for reabsorption, the other is for excretion. Right. Now, how firstly, how do you calculate the filtered load? And I've already told you how do you calculate the filtered load? Filtered load of any substance will be filtered load is a rate. Yes, filtered load is a rate. So it has to be per unit time. And how do you do that? We've discussed that. That is going to be the rate at which is filtered. This is going to be how do you calculate the filtered load? Filtered load is GFR divided by, uh, sorry, GFR into the plasma glucose concentration. Yes. Now GFR has been given as GFR has been given as 150 milliliters per minute. Plasma glucose has been given as 400 milligrams per 100 ml. And how much is that going to be in terms of per ml? This is 4 milligrams per ml. 100, 400 milligrams in 100 ml, so 4 milligram in 1 ml. Yes, ml and ml would get cancelled. That means the filtered load of glucose is 600 milligrams per minute. So that means the what is the amount of glucose being filtered in unit time? This is 600 milligrams per minute is being filtered in this patient. Yes. And there is how much of it is going to be? What is the TMG here? TMG is 300 milligrams per minute. So 300 milligrams is being reabsorbed. So what is going to be the excretion rate of that substance? 600 minus 300, which is 300 milligrams per minute. This is going to be the excretion rate. Siram, MG, you've all got it correct. Yes. You can, in fact, also see from uh, you can also see from the graph as well. If you want to look at the graph and you can answer from the graph as well, that should also give you an answer. Filtered load is 600 and the, the glucose being excreted will be, if you follow this graph of excretion, you find that there is 300 milligrams of glucose is being excreted in one minute. You can either take the answer from the graph or even calculate it. At a filtered load of 600 milligrams per minute, the, uh, the reabsorption is 300 milligrams per minute. And excretion will be 300 milligrams per minute. Is that okay? But please be careful with the units. Please be careful with the units. Okay? Right. Please be careful with the units. Okay with that? 